The 25th anniversary Yu-Gi-Oh card Mega Tin has just been released and in this tin you guys can find some of the most insane reprints within the last year. Cards like Kashtar Fenrir, Rider of Aramisir, Therion Regulus can all be found inside this tin. And not only that, you guys can also get your hands on a quarter century promo rare card that is going to feature one of these cards right here on the side of the tin. So there's a lot going on. Now we got a few tins to open up in today's video and I'm excited. So let's get right into it. Here it is in all of its glory, the 25th anniversary Yu-Gi-Oh card Mega Tin. You guys can see some of the promos that you guys can find. The Cyber Dragon and the Neos especially are what we're looking for. But they have some insane cards, Stardust Dragon, you have Black Rose. So there's a ton of insanely cool promo cards. And unfortunately, I think they're right at the top. So we won't really get uh, spoiled, but let's get into the very first tin over here. If I could open it up. All right, so I just finally was able to get into it. Boom, opened up our first look. Actually, what if I just what if I just do this? Then we won't see the promo. Okay, yes, we don't see the promo. Okay, let's pull it out here. We'll get into the promo in just a second. I really like these Mega Packs though. The one thing that I do like is how they look like Yu-Gi-Oh card backs. I actually think that's pretty cool. And so for our first promo here though, I'm really excited. Hopefully it's a Neos or a Cyber Dragon. That's what we want. Ready? Oh, Decode Talker. Okay, this card is still really, really cool. I mean, you guys can see that quarter century rare. The quarter century rare, of course, similar to a Starlight. You have the ultra rare text though. So it's a gold text rather than a silver, but still a very, very nice card. So we're gonna put that over to the side over here. Remember, we have more than just this tin. So we'll see what we get in our next mega tin. But for now, we are going into our mega packs. And I think that you're guaranteed two secret rares. Now, cards like Rite of Aramisir, Karzoric Fenrir, those are all cards within this set, which is absolutely insane and you guys are gonna see a lot of these cards here are just reprints so exosister Jibrine as our first one that's our rare Therion stand up as a super rare you have a uh, Therion Reaper fume so you get one super rare uh, we have I believe two ultra rares Scareclaw arrival this is a nice upgrade and then we have two secret rares so our first secret rare is Amazonist pet liger okay not the greatest secret rare to start things off but we have a Visa Star Frost. There we go. That made up for it. This is an absolute banger of a reprint. This card, of course, in Secret Rare and Ultra Rare was pretty expensive and pretty difficult to find. But now if you guys want to play decks like Manadium, this reprint makes it very, very accessible, which is really nice. So I think this Visa Star Frost was a really good pull. And then, of course, you guys are going to have Drapel back as a common. It's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of the reprints here again. So a lot of these are just cards that may have come as Super Rares or just other commons from sets within the last year. I think it's sets like uh, Battles of Chaos, you have like i mean i know pot's not technically in here but there are some pot reprints you have dimension force and a lot of those sets as well right so a lot of really really cool powerful sets that came out and a lot of really cool reprints this is uh kind of nice as a common over here decisive battle black shadow squall ddd headhunt a very powerful card for the ddd archetype for our super rare we got soul scissors and then i think we get one ultra rare Samorg Burg of Perfection. Wow, this is an ultra rare. That's a big upgrade. This card was a common for the longest time. And then I think uh, we get two ultra rares. So Naturia Blessing. I'm really sad this deck got hit, man. This deck is really, really powerful. I know people don't like the runic cards, but I think Naturia itself was pretty cool. And then we got two secret rares coming up though. So for our first one, we have Exo Sister Stella. Okay, Exo Sister's getting reprinted in here is pretty nice. Oh, that reminds me. That's um. That's um, whatever set Rite of Aramisia came out in. I forgot, they're actually doing side sets now, not just the main sets. So Stella, and then we got a Hugin. Very good, very good reprint over here, especially if you wanna play the uh, runic cards. Hugin, of course, is really powerful. And then we have a lot of uh, the common reprints over here. Okay, so let's get into our last pack of the first 10 over here. I, I mean, I'm enjoying this, honestly. These ass, I think, was probably our best pull so far. Cards that I'm hoping for are like Fenrir. Uh, right of Aramisir is a card that I'm looking for as well. So those kind of cards would be nice. Um, we're going to skip through the comments here, though, real quick. Uh, we have Jerry as our rare. Morphotronic Converter as a super. Pit Knight, this is a good one. I'm pretty sure this was a common for the longest time. So being an Ultra is actually pretty cool. Uh, we have an Ice Jade Cosmolotch. Okay, I don't know the Ice Jade cards by heart. But anyways, this card's pretty cool. Can't really say that name. Cosmo Cosmolchor? Cosmolchor? Anyways, we got for our first Secret Rare. 
a lady labyrinth see that's what i mean like there are good secret rare reprints in here this card of course being very very powerful and it's a really good reprint from the set our second secret rare let's make it a fan rare let's make it a zombie vampire you know what that's not too bad as well this card obviously is not seeing too much play right now but i feel like uh this card can always see play in those rank 8 decks that want to mill right so there's a lot of potential in that that was it for our first mega tin i would say we didn't do too too bad i mean we got the hugin over here which was really nice i think the hugin Vizas, and lady were some really really good pulls not to mention the decode talker quarter century rare but we do have one more tin that we're going to be opening it up so let's get into our second tin over here hopefully it uh, does just as well if not better again there's so many really powerful reprints in here i don't really know what's in the ultra slots i know the secret slots mostly the ultra slots are kind of where i'm not sure what the cards are uh let's open up these and then get this out of the way we have the promo over here so our second promo cyber dragon let's go Ooh, Black Rose Dragon. You know what? I am not mad with this one. I think Black Rose Dragon is an insanely powerful card. It's really cool in Edison kind of decks, and it's a very iconic card, right? So quarter century Black Rose Dragon cannot be upset with this one. So I'm going to put this one to the side. Let's get into our Mega Packs here, though. So we got three more Mega Packs, six more Secret Layers. That's literally what we're hoping for. The, the, the Prismatic Secret Layers are really, really nice. I, I wanted to mention that as well, actually. Just this rarity, I think, is really, really cool. It's underrated, I think, in my opinion. We got the Ice Trade Creation. Okay, you know what? Honestly, I'm just going to go through these comments because who's here for the comments? Let's be honest, right? So we got a donor as a rare. That's a pretty good rare, I would say. Doll Monster Bear Bear. Okay, very interesting uh, inclusion in the super rare slot. I'm not sure why they gave this card a super rare. We got a uh, Sorrow. Is this? I've never seen this card before. There's, there's, no, there's no way it's new, right? I know they put some new cards in here. Is this new? All right, let me know in the comment section down below because I actually have no idea. For our second ultra, we got Chinook. Okay, this got upgraded from a super to an ultra, which is nice. For our first secret rare, Scareclaw Rykart. You know what? This is a good one. Another powerful card. It's a really good reprint here. And then we got a Master of Chaos. This, of course, coming from Battle of Chaos. Very, very powerful card in the Dark Magician archetype. So that's not too bad as well. Um, and then, of course, we have the rest of our commons. You know what a common that I'm looking for is, actually, funny enough, is Dynamorphia Alert. I know that got reprinted as a common in here. And I only have one. I know it's a common to begin with, but it's just funny that... Uh, I just need one more of those because I only ever picked up the one for the deck, but I kind of want to try playing two. So uh, I do want a second one and I never picked up a second one. So I was just hoping that we pull one of these from the reprints, uh, from the tins, I mean, the reprint from the tin. And uh, we haven't yet, which is kind of funny. It's just a common. We got another Donner as our rare. Morphotronic Converter. I feel like we've seen that super rare. Runic Freezing Curse, Ultra Rare. This is pretty nice, of course. We got an Agent of Destruction, Venus, as another Ultra Rare. Now, for our Secret Rares, we got an Albaz the Ashen. Okay, not the greatest Secret Rare, but we can make it up right here. Another Hugin. You know what? That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We'll put this to the side. Dynamorphia Shell and... Still no Dynamorphia alert. What is going on? Last pack though here. Last pack. Let's see what we can open up with our very last pack here. There's a lot of potential. There's a lot of things that we can pull. Let's let's hit. Let's hit. I'm going to be honest. Seeing Wallow as a common is pretty uh, weird. I don't know. I feel like the super rare was just the perfect rarity for that. DD Griffin is actually pretty cool here. Decisive battle. We got a whatever this is as a rare. Uh, I feel like I've seen this card before, but the name's just super, super long. We got a super rare over here, Yamatako Orochi. Yamatako Orochi, yeah. I think I said that right. Anyways, we got a Runic Flashing Fire, another one. What are these doubles? So we've doubled up on Hyungin, we've doubled up on Flashing Fire. Uh, we've doubled up on this now too. Oh my God, how are we pulling doubles? There's only two tins. All right, we got two secret rares. Let's make them count. You know what, actually? So this is, of course, our ultra rare. I know we got two secret rares, so let's put them to the side. Let's quickly check for an alert. There's still no alerts. I just, I, it's a common man. All right, our first secret rare is Zombie Vampire. Bro, these doubles are crazy. Okay, is this gonna be a double or is it gonna be something crazy? It's gonna be crazy, right? It's gonna be crazy. A Garura. Okay, this is actually a pretty good reprint, I will say. Not super crazy though, but you know what? I'm not too mad. I think these reprints are pretty cool. And again, I think the Black Rose Dragon, uh, Starlight or QCR, I should say, is really cool as well. Hugin, of course, is really powerful. Visa Star Frost is a big one. So these are some pretty cool reprints if I say so myself. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy today's pack opening. These are the brand new 25th anniversary Yu-Gi-Oh card Mega Tins, and I think they're really, really cool. Now, we may not have pulled the craziest. Visa Star Frost was a pretty crazy pull, I won't lie. But other than that, we may not have pulled the craziest. But you know what that means? It means all the really powerful cards like Fenrir, Aramisia, and whatnot 
are in tins for you. So you guys should pick them up and you guys should have some fun opening them up. Even if you guys just pick up one or two tins, just to have some fun doing some pack openings and uh, some really cool reprints in this set. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.